Of course, you don't have to venture far from Eugene to find lush greens and some fine wine. And if you haven't heard about Monroe through the grapevine, that's where we're headed in this week's All in a Day's Drive. The drive on Territorial Road may feel remote, but it's on this spot near Monroe where 15 years ago, Jeff Doyle and his brother Greg set to work building an 18-hole golf course. It's enough away from town, but yet, uh, but yet still close enough that the drive's not that bad. A bad drive at Diamond Woods can land you in trouble. Ah, too much grass. But you're only a good sandblast away from saving par. No, I didn't. Ah! <laughs> now, I'll tell you what, that is a cut. The fairways make it difficult enough to the point where you're not playing the same shot every time you come out and play this course. The big slope is pretty predominant so you might be looking at a green thinking it's level but it'll always break a little more we call it the territorial road effect because that's the furthest west of the property after 15 years the Doyles aren't content to sit and relax they admit they have to think about what that word means okay the R E L A X okay it's a five letter word we don't really well we you know I, w I w don't want to say we don't relax I think it's relaxing for both of them to think about new things to do uh, we only at this point keep trying to make it just a little bit nicer the Doyles have since built a four-bedroom lodge that they rent out to everyone from visiting golfers to wedding parties. Once they get out here and see the views and they get out here and again the gentlemen that are usually with them that come with them are all about, oh you get golf? Okay, that works. The Doyle brothers aren't the only ones to put down roots near Monroe. Several of their neighbors have done just that, literally putting down roots, because the Willamette Valley isn't just golfing country, it's also wine country. It's, we are in the rain shadow of the highest part of the coast range between Green Peak and Mary's Peak, so the only part of the coast range that's over 5,000 or 4,000 feet. And so we have a little microclimate here that is just producing some outstanding wines. Phil and Nancy aren't ones to relax either. And that brings the vines up. The former educators have spent nearly a decade as students quickly learning how to bottle award-winning wine on 15 acres. And for us to think about just retiring and then, you know, sitting and looking at each other and saying, now what, just didn't seem to fit. But the McCollums have fit in nicely with their neighboring vineyards. There are around seven wineries within a few miles of Monroe. It makes it more of a destination. People think about, you know, traveling into through a, an area for wine tasting, for example. We open at noon and, and people start coming in about 11.30. Phil says after bud break, his soon-to-be flowering grapes are off to an early start. What he predicts will be a good growing season. And you can swing away or sit and sip, and it's all in a day's drive. Diamond Woods currently offers a family fun night. That's when a group of four can come out and play starting at 4 o'clock with a tee time for just $25, so long as one of the players is junior age. That's under 18.